Alright, so um, here's another tutorial for Photoshop. Um, I've been getting some really good uh, feedback lately, so I thought I'd do some more. Because um, I haven't done it, done any of these in a really long time. So uh, Today we're going to be working with the crop tool. This tool right over here. The crop tool. Uh, before we get into that, I want to show you one little thing uh, about about when we're transforming stuff. All right, so if I'm if I do f use the tre free transform tool, which is Command T, I get this dialog. I get this little these little bounding box things, right? So um, what you can do is you can scale it out this way and just like that. But if you want to constrain it, you have to hold down Shift, right? And it, so it keeps the same size. I can't move it any. I can't distort this uh, box. Um, so automatically it just it just does it from there. But if I hold down Alt and Shift, it will come out from the middle like this. Alright, I just want to let you know that. Um, so if I just hold it down with the Shift, it will come from the corner. If I use Alt, it will come from the middle. All right, that's the only reason why I wanted to show that. Really quick. Let's throw that away. Alright. So actually, you may have seen um, may have seen this little trick I'm going to do with the crop tool before, but uh, hopefully you haven't. Basically, in the crop tool, there's a bunch of presets you can you can plug in here, um, so, which is just you know basic crop tool stuff. Um, I'm going to get rid of right now. It's constrained to uh, I think it was like eight by ten or something like that. But I'm going to get rid of that. So if you if you ever have it and like it won't let you do anything like this, it's because you have your constraints up here. I'm gonna just clear that real quick. Um, but uh, what you can do is actually add um, add canvas from using the crop tool, and I actually use the crop tool almost all the time for when I'm adding canvas. Um, the first thing you got to make sure that you do is have either another layer that's not locked or this layer has to be unlocked. See that lock on it? You can hold down Alt and double click it and it will become layer 0 now. Um, so then all you gotta do is the first time it won't let you drag it out of it then the second time and this is why I talked about that holding down Alt and Shift is now I can just pull this out like that and then when I hit enter um, and it doesn't really matter if you hit if it's hide or delete, just don't hit shield. Um, you could hit shield, but don't do that. Um, if I hit enter, then we're just going to have this transparent border around it, kind of. I mean, there's just nothing there. Um, so then, if I want to make a border, like a black border, I could just make a layer underneath it, holding down a command uh, to make a new layer underneath it. Fill that with black, alt delete, because black is my foreground color and I already have uh, kind of a border even though that border like I would probably crop it like that or something um, so oh and that's another thing I want to show you since um, if you ever like trying to like crop to something and it just keeps jumping like that see how it, it's like I'll start to drag and then it just jumps um, that's because snap is turned on it's, it's actually under view so if I turn off snap, it will let me do it as, as delicately as I want. It won't snap to the other stuff. So if it's on, because I actually prefer to have it on usually, it will snap to the corner and stuff like that. Alright, I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff that I did. I'm just going to go un undo, undo, undo. Um, and actually with Photoshop, you have to, after you've undone it once, you have to do Alt Z, Alt Z, Alt Z, because um, usually it's just Command Z. Anyway, but I want to show you um, what's cool about this is like when I'm making something and I want it to be the right size. Instead of going in there and calculating my pixel size, and let me just show you really quick the uh, other way of um, of uh, adding. So you can you could add canvas size and stuff like that. But I find that I have to think a lot for that, and I have to use my head with math and stuff like that. So I don't like to do that. 
Um, so if I want to make this four times as big, say I had, I wanted to do four different images, right? So what I would do is, and they're all this size, I would take this, all right? And then I would actually move it off, okay? This is the same thing. If you wanted to, if you wanted to do uh, two images, you could just do this. All right, see, so since it's the complete size of that, I'm just gonna move it off. Then I move it back on because you, it wouldn't let you just crop into nothing. I'm gonna move it back on, and then, as you can see, it's double that size. So I can move this over here. Maybe I could uh, really quickly turn it over like that if I wanted to. Uh, I just flipped it horizontal. Um, and then if I wanted to make this into four, and a lot of times you have to have a lot, you have to have a lot of uh, space here so you can see. So if I want to make it four, th this is already double. So all I have to do is double that, come down, stretch it over to here, and now it's four times the size. I can make. Um, so now I can come over here. I could even um, duplicate both of these and then just move them down or something like that. Um, but yeah, so there, there you have it. You can put four, four in there. You can keep going if you wanted to. I mean, you could do six. You could do, um, you know, pretty much any even numbers. We could keep doing with two here, then over there, just like that. But um, the important thing is, it's just cool that you can. First, you get the right size by getting it inside just one of these, and then you go out like this. You do it like that, and then, oops, I messed that up. But uh, yeah, so that's just some some crop tool magical little secrets, and I will see you next time.